All right, we're gonna work on this spindle first. I figure, gotta start somewhere, so we'll start with this one. Um, yeah, it's got some rope. I think we'll, we'll start with undoing the bottom of it. And it's got some rope um, wrapped around so we can't get our thing on there, socket on there. I'm gonna try my little 3 8 ratchet wrench, or not ratchet wrench, but um, air impact ratchet. See if that'll break it loose. May not, I don't think it's high enough to get my half inch uh, impact on it. And I guess we'll worry about getting that off later. These blades are shot. They are done. Worn out. And are they on backwards? I guess I need to see which way this thing rotates. No, I guess it rotates this way. Yeah, because it would need to throw it out this way if it did it this way. It would not throw it out right. So they're on right. It goes this way. Um, let's see if this thing will break them loose. It's a 15 sixteenths. We are working right out in the sun and it is hot. I don't know if this is going to do it. It's a little loose one if it's a metric. Try a metric. Uh, couldn't get a 7 8 on it. Let's see. Let's go with a. Four, maybe. Yeah, it fits it about as loose. All right, jacked it up a little bit further, or got it a little bit further. I can just get my impact under there. Um, so let's see. If we can break these loose. And I went ahead and decided I needed the impact to do this. Let's see. Loosen. There we go. And it broke loose. So kind of tight though. I already bought new blades for it. Uh, bought them, I don't know if it was Amazon or eBay, but it was like 30 something dollars for three brand new made in USA blades. And so that's what I did. And we're gonna have to work with that to get that off. We've got a hex here. I'm wondering if that unscrews don't know or use that to hold hold it to get the top nut off that's probably what it is so I got to get a big big uh, socket and I've got something metric here I brought my metric set out here I think this thing is standard all the bolts on it uh, it is bigger than a 27 let me go see what I'm find. All right, inch and an eighth. So, let's see if we can bust this one loose. Oh. That one was tighter. Pull the pulley off. I think it's splined. Get that nut off, or that washer off. 
Uh, let me get some oil. It looks really rusty down in there. Old can of penetrating oil. Works good though. That should work. I'm just gonna work it back and forth. As I can get some screwdrivers and pry on it, but we're gonna try this easy first. Getting more and more slop in it. I've never had this thing, one like this apart. Uh, I think this thing has tapered bearings in it. Not positive, but I'm just kind of looking at diagrams, you know. coming just a little tight Put a puller on it. I hate to do that one because it would take the grease third out to do it. Um, let me uh, keep prying on it for a little bit, and, I'll, and we'll come back. I don't know if y'all were filming, but I drove that, got the thing out, and then I drove the shaft out with a socket over the end of the shaft so that I wouldn't hurt the grease dirt. So drove it out. The bearings so far don't look that bad. What I'm going to do is go ahead and pull the seals out because if we're doing this we're going to replace the seals. So we just kind of get in here and pop the seal out. My camera keeps turning off. Uh, the bottom bearing doesn't look that great. While we've got the thing off here, let's uh, let's hit this. I don't know if this hammer is big enough to bend this back. Probably not. No. It's going to take a big sledgehammer to dent that back. I'll try it one more time some of this stuff off though. It is so hot here. Uh. It may have gone a little bit. All right, so we're at our workbench. We've got the shaft here. And it's got splines on it. I did not bring the pulley. But the pulley goes down on these splines. It's got this uh, piece here that is pretty beat up, but uh, we can work with that and kind of get it cleaned up. That protects the seal, our seal surface. Seal surface. Does not look very good. And clean that up with some memory cloth. This shaft is pretty uh
pretty rough. So the bearings, I think this is the bottom bearing. It looked the worst of them. You know what I think I'll do? No, I was gonna throw it in my carb cleaner bucket, but I don't think I'll do that. They look the same. We need to try to get a part number. All right, just to wrap this up quickly, um, I decided to go ahead and order a spindle. And I'll tell you why. Um, so a bearing, a good quality bearing was just under $20, about $18. And I think that was for a national. And that 30205 number, that is actually the bearing number. You, there's some that have a few digits after those, and I couldn't tell what the difference is on those. Maybe different um, duty rating or something like that. Um, or maybe some kind of different application type. But if you look up a 30205 uh, tapered bearing, you should get this correct bearing. Now, um, I did did not get any numbers off the seal, but I did find one and I'll put I'll put the dimensions of the closest seal I could find right here. Um, I don't have the piece of paper out here with me where I put all that work together. I don't know for sure if that's the exact seal, but that's the closest I could get it. I want to say it was like a 30 by 50 by 10 or 50 by 30 by 10. Don't quote me on that. Um, it was something like that. But like I said, it'll be right here in the video. Um, so good quality bearing, 20 bucks. I could get cheap China bearings for about six bucks, you know, shipped directly from China. So, and uh, the same thing on the seal, about $3 for a cheap China seal, about $7 for a good quality seal. So for a good quality seal on this one and a good one good or two good quality seals and one good quality bearing, we're at uh, $34 around you know give or take a little so if i went with cheap china bearings i could get um i could have it together for about 20 bucks um that's not counting you know having to put a new grease dirt there probably um and I, the more I thought about it, you know, if I'm going to spend $20 for cheap, cheap, cheap stuff, um, why not just try the new spindles? Uh, like I said, they're a different part number. They're one part number difference. And I'll put right here in the video, I'll put the part number for these and I'll put the part number for the uh, Husqvarna spindle. But everything I can see on it looks identical to it that's not to say that when I get it it might not be you know an inch shorter or whatever I, you know I'm going by look and it's it's for a Husqvarna with a 52 inch deck and you know Husqvarna made a lot of these and uh, a lot of the Husqvarna's parts fit these and so with it being a 52 inch deck, I'm thinking it will work, but I can't be for sure. But we're going to try it. It's from Amazon, so if it doesn't work, I can return it. But I got three spindles, brand new, complete, for um, uh, $99. That's without tax, and it was free shipping. So... You really can't beat that. I, it may be cheap China bearings in them. I, I don't know. But as much abuse as these have had with this thing sitting outside, you know, you can see the shaft I'm dealing with here. How rusted and pitted this thing is. Of course, it doesn't really matter in here. 
but you know we do have some wear on the shaft right here where the uh, where it rides and I didn't even clean up this but you can see that that seal surface looks like it's got a groove in it now this piece we could probably just flip it over upside down and get a new clean surface but here is not that great now i chucked this thing up in my lathe and ran it and used some emery cloth to get it to be this good but it's still got some deep gouges right in there and when i chuck this thing up in the lathe um it is slightly bent now whether it's enough to cause any issues it looks like this might come off too because i might could flip this around but whether it's enough to cause any issues i don't know um but you know this side was this spindle was the one where the deck itself is uh where the spindle mounts is bent and so this the blade on this side probably hit something pretty substantial and it bent the deck up a little bit and it slightly bent this spindle and so at that point the best deal I could find on spindles, I think it was like 40 something bucks for a single. Um, I probably could have looked and found them cheaper, but just a quick glance and then, I, or I could get all three for 99. And so um, that same listing that had the singles, they had a single and I think a single is 52 or three for 99. And then I think somewhere else I looked, they had I think one for 43, I think. Um, so I just decided to go ahead and get three new ones. The time that I've got invested into, you know, rebuilding this, you know, I, I'm still got questionable, not questionable parts, but pretty ratty parts. And I can get those spindles now, whether I can get them, you know, in another couple years, who knows? So I'm not gonna chunk these. What I'll do is I'll put this one back together just like it is. I'll even tap these old seals back in it and it'll go up on a shelf with the other two spindles. And um, aside from seals, I could probably put together one or two spindles out of what I've got. I know this one's got a bad shaft, um, but maybe one of the other two. I would bet that maybe that center spindle might not have as much water damage because it's it's got that cover over it um, to maybe protect against some of the water intrusion but you know I don't know um, I just this is not good parts you want to work with really it, it's doable like I said and if those spindles end up being wrong the ones that we ordered uh, we may have to rebuild this one but uh, if we can get new parts then I think that's the way to go and not try to just um, I can't even say be cheap because you're really not any cheaper to rebuild this. So it, it just, it didn't make any sense. So we've got new spindles on the way. And like I said, uh, if you if you want to rebuild yours, I'll put um, the bearing number and the seal dimensions approximate are in this video and the link to the three replacement bearings or replacement spindles will be in the description and I will let you know if they work. In fact, I will post this video after I make sure they work and I'll add that on to the end of this video.